Clash Royale is a tower defense strategy game that's been made available on Android and iOS for quite some time now. The game is developed by Supercell, the same company that gave us Clash of Clans. While the characters used in Clash Royale is similar to previous game, the gameplay is completely different. Clash Royale combines cards, tower defense, and multiplayer online battles to offer a unique experience. So if you've just started playing Clash Royale or have been playing it for a while, here are six tips that'll help you play the game better. There are 74 cards in the game and you can't just pick any one to defend from the other. Each card has its strengths and weaknesses and you need to be aware of them as you play. For example, putting up a skeleton army to stop a Valkyrie is a sure shot way to waste an elixir for nothing. Cards have levels, which make it stronger against attacks. So pick the right troop for your deck and update it to improve your chances of winning. In Clash Royale, placement of your cards is crucial. Most might think that placing a troop right in front of the tower is a good idea. Well, no. You can use the pull strategy by pulling the opponent's troop to the center of the screen so that both your towers can engage it. This is great as it helps to eliminate the opponent troop faster without causing much damage to any of your towers. You can also place multiple troops away from the line of action to engage with enemy troops without suffering any damage. The other advantage of placing troops away from each other is that they will be unaffected by freeze and poison spells. Troops are designed to go after enemy towers and that's what they'll do. You can either drop them right in front to defend your tower or drop them a little out of line. Using this strategy forces the enemy to fight the newly placed troops by going out of their way to engage. This allows the tower to take a few extra hits at the troop, eliminating it faster. You can also use your remaining resources to launch an effective counter-attack right after. Similar to distraction is retargeting. High elixir troops like Giant, Lava Hound, Ice Golem, and the Royal Giant engage only with structures. To distract them, use building cards like a Bomber Tower, Cannon, or even a low elixir card like the Tombstone. By placing a structure, you'll pull them towards it, saving your tower from a few crucial hits. You can use the same technique for the annoying Hog Rider that is quick to make its way to your tower. So try this technique to stop your opponent and counter them effectively. If an opponent troop is already engaged with your arena tower, you can use Zap or the Electro Wizard to force them to retarget. Cards cost Elixir and Elixir takes time to generate. Playing your cards wisely will give you a significant advantage over your opponent, making it easier to win the game. It takes 2.8 seconds for Elixir to generate during normal playtime and 1.4 seconds during the last 60 seconds. So for example, if your opponent plays the Giant card, cost them 5 Elixirs. If you counter using a Skeleton Army, you only use 3 Elixirs, giving you 2 Elixir advantage over your opponent, which can be used towards the end game. Your deck is all you have to defend your towers when in battle, so choose your cards wisely. You should also upgrade your cards to improve your chances. Set the deck you're most comfortable playing with. For example, if you have a heavy deck that has an average elixir count of 4.5 or above, they'll be helpful to stockpile and attack in the last 60 seconds to make use of the faster elixir production. If you have a lighter deck, placement is crucial for your deck to survive and it would probably make sense to rush your enemies at the start. What are your tips and tricks to play Clash Royale better? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram at Gadgets360.